Hi there! Do you want to learn Power Automate and simplify your workflows? In this video, I will share one of the lessons from my Power Automate module on my Udemy course. If you want to access the course, check the pinned comment below or become a channel member to unlock all the lessons. Let's get started. Now let's continue our flow and start querying our dataset. That's the tasks list. We can keep this compose here because we are going to use it very soon. Let's add the next step. That's the get items from SharePoint as we already did in other flow. So here I just selected get items and now I need to select the correct site and lists. In my case, the site's called timesheet app and the list is called tasks. If I just exit this action configuration, save it and run, we are going to get the entire list. And as I just said in the previous lessons, we want to get just the tasks created on that day. So in order to do that, we can expand the advanced parameters and we have several options here. And one of them is the filter query. Here we can pass filter expressions that will filter our data sets. And the way to do that is called all data filter. In this case, we want to filter the tasks created today created after midnight, early in the morning. So let's write this expression here. We know that the column name is called created and I want to filter after midnight. So I'm going to use GE, that means greater than or equals. And then I need to inform the midnight from today. We can just put the expression here or we can put in the compose and, go, and get the output of the compose here using the previous steps outputs. Let's do that because it will involve a formula and we have more space here in the compose. So let's go back to the compose and now we are going to put the formula to get the midnight from today. In order to do that, we are going to go to the formulas part and we have a couple of options because we have several functions here that work with strings. One of them is the start of day. This will give us the start of the day. Then I open and close the parentheses and I just need to pass a date time here. And we have this function that's UTC now. So start of day and inside we have UTC now. Let's click on add. So the compose action will have this formula in the inputs. Let's rename it. So let's call compose the start of today. And now let's go back to the get items and put here between single quotes the outputs of that compose. So I'm just selecting here and here is the output of the compose. I already created two tasks in the list today. So I should see only two tasks as the output of the get items and not the entire list. Let's run the flow and see if that will work. I'm going to click on tests, manually, publish and test. Run flow. Even though it's a scheduled flow, I can test and run anytime I want. So it's just triggered in the compose we just got. Today's date, here we have year, month, day, then a T to say that we are going to show the time, then zero hours, zero minutes, zero seconds, and the milliseconds out zero, and Z, stands for UTC. So now let's see in the get items, what are the outputs? Here we can see the raw outputs. So we can see the entire JSON. We have the headers, the body and the value. And as we know, it's inside the value that we have the tasks. We have one item here, and then we have the second item in here. So in my case, I got the two tasks that were created today. And then inside it, we have task date, worked hours, descriptions, project ID, and so on. So the filter worked. As you can see here in the outputs, we got all the columns from the lists. If it was a very big list with a lot of columns and we didn't want to bring all the columns, we could improve this by selecting a view here. In all the parameters, we can limit column by views. So if we go to the SharePoint list and create a view in there with just a couple of columns, we can select that view so you don't bring all the columns, decreasing the size of the data payload that's coming here in this connector and saving a little bit of network. 
We can also limit the top count. So let's imagine we want to bring just the top five from today. And we can also order by columns if you want. But for this scenario, this is enough. Getting the tasks that were created today. It's not the task date, but the created date. Now we need to get all these tasks and formats to send in the email. Later, I'm going to do other explanations about these dates because I'm using UTC date. And depending on the time I choose, for example, in my case, since I'm three hours behind UTC, if I run this at 10 p.m. today, the date that I'm going to get here is tomorrow's date because UTC will be already 1 a.m. in the next day and it will get wrongly. So we need to apply some date conversions. But first we are going to finish the flow and then later we are going to do these improvements. So in the next lesson, we are going to extract only the columns we want, format as an HTML and send in the email. See you in the next lesson. Do you want to watch the classes without any interruptions? By becoming a channel member or purchasing the course, you can watch ad-free and support the future of my content creation. Check out the link in the description and in the pinned comment to get started. See you in the next lesson.